ಸಂಭಮೀಶುರಂ ಸಚಿ ಅನಂದೂಪ ಲಸತ್ಕುಂದ ಜಯ 
Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna.
Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. Krishna Hare Hare
Supreme Lord, whose form is the embodiment of eternal existence, knowledge, and bliss, whose shark-shaped earrings are swinging to and fro, who is beautifully shining in the divine realm of Gokul, who, due to the offense of breaking the pot of yogurt that his mother was churning into butter and then stealing the butter that was kept hanging from a swing, is quickly running from the wooden grinding mortar in fear of Mother Jasoda, but who has been caught from him from behind by her who ran after him with greater speed. To that Supreme Lord Sri Damodar, I offer my humble obeisances. Seeing the whipping stick in his mother's hand, he is crying and rubbing his eyes again and again with his two lotus hands. His eyes are filled with fear and the necklace of pearls around his neck which is marked with three lines like a conch shell, is shaking because of his quick breathing due to crying. To this Supreme Lord Sri Damodar, whose belly is bound not with ropes but with his mother's pure love, I offer my humble obeisances. By such childhood pastimes as this, he is drowning the inhabitants of Gokul in pools of ecstasy and is revealing to those devotees who are absorbed in knowledge of his supreme majesty and opulence that he is only conquered by devotees whose pure love is imbued with intimacy and is free from all conceptions of awe and reverence. With great love, I again offer my obeisances to Lord Damodar hundreds and hundreds of times. O Lord, although you are able to give all kinds of benedictions, I do not pray to you for the boon of impersonal liberation, nor the highest liberation of eternal life in Vaikuntha, nor any other boon which may be obtained by executing the nine processes of bhakti. O oh Lord, I simply wish that this form of yours, as Baal Gopal and Vrindavan, may ever be manifest in my heart. For what is the use to me of any other boon besides this? O oh Lord, your lotus face, which is encircled by locks of soft black hair, tinged with red, is kissed again and again by Mother Jasoda, and your lips are reddish like the bimba fruit. May this beautiful vision of your lotus face be ever manifest in my heart. Thousands and thousands of other benedictions are of no use to me. O Supreme Godhead, I offer my obeisances unto you, O Damodar, O Ananta, O Vishnu, O Master, 
O my Lord, be pleased upon me by showering your glance of mercy upon me. Deliver this poor ignorant fool who is immersed in an ocean of worldly sorrows and become visible to my eyes. O Lord Damodar, just as the two sons of Kuvera, Manigriva, and Nalakuvara were delivered from the curse of Narada and made into great devotees by you in your form as a baby tied with rope to a wooden grinding mortar. In the same way, please give to me your own Prema Bhakti. I only long for this, and I have no desire for any kind of liberation. O Lord Damodar, I first of all offer my obeisances to the brilliantly effulgent rope which binds your belly. I then offer my obeisances to your belly, which is the abode of the entire universe. I humbly bow down to your most beloved Srimati Radharani, and I offer all obeisances to you, the Supreme Lord, who displays unlimited pastimes. Shri Dhamma Dvastakam Kijai.